Corinthians chapter 8 verse 9 says, For you know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, that though he was rich, yet for your sake he became poor, so that you through his poverty might become rich. What if Joseph and Mary had ri arrived in Bethlehem in a limousine being driven by a chauffeur? What if God had adorned Bethlehem like Hollywood on Oscar night, you know, with red carpet, flashing cameras, angels interviewing the royal couple? Probably had Jesus come in such a way, we would have read the story and thought he came into uh, their fantasy world, not our everyday reality world. Such is our everyday world. Bills to pay and clothes to be laundered, meals to be prepared and jobs to complete. Our faces probably will not be found on a magazine cover and it's unlikely that we will ever receive a call from the White House with congratulations. You and I just qualified for a modern day Christmas story. Holy God entered the world through folks just like you and me and he came on just another ordinary day like today. His mother, Mary, uh, just a young maiden, and his earthly father, Joseph, a carpenter by trade, a young family simply handling the f affairs of everyday life. Isn't that a bit comforting to know that Jesus came in such a lowly and humble manner? Well, what acceptance is found knowing that he came for you in your everyday life with your normal family and that he understands because he, too, lived everyday life with his normal family? Jesus wasn't known for his handsome looks or for living the life of the rich and famous. He was average because he came for the average. He was born for people like you and like me. He was pleased to lay aside his glory for the glory of God in the souls of men. We do not follow a king that's far off, one who reigns from a distant palace at a great distance from the real-life struggles of his subjects. No, we follow the king who's like us in all sense, we follow the king who is with us, so be alert. Today just might be the day that God brings his Christmas story to you. I'm Ray Jones, and that's another hard truth for your day.